simply because something hasn't happened before doesn't mean it can't happen again and isn't really an excuse. So hundreds of flights were delayed or cancelled as a result of a glitch. A glitch is uh, mm. a glitch is a, is a, is a wonderful um, Yiddish word which literally means a stumble or a slip, a fall. And today it's taken to mean a computer failure, a fault, a technical fault. Uh, it's very interesting how that word has changed its meaning. But it is a glitch. And because of a glitch, we saw almost a week's worth of chaos and we were unable to do anything about it. And, and this is part of our problem today in our society. We're so dependent on uh, computer technology, on bureaucracy, and we don't seem to have the sense to be able to cut through the nonsense and accept that things have gone wrong or find a solution. We are enslaved to failure. We see the same sort of thing at the Dover ports. We see the same sort of thing in education. The 13 schools that had uh, started the process of repairs and then saw that repair work cancelled and are now uh, closed because of the rack cement crisis. And, and at the same time, rather than solving the problem, rather than moving forward, it's all become me, me, me about the minister. And she tries to deflect by saying that a lot of schools have been rather tardy in replying to her questionnaire. No, it's not about me, me, me. It's about solving the problem, problem, problem. And while we can't get round that, we are on a trajectory to absolute failure. We need a rethink. If we can't do the rethink, we are burying our head in the sand and we are going downwards.